Hello guys, welcome to the next session of implementing CRUD operations using Spring Boot version 3. In the last session, we discussed on how we can create the APIs in order to fetch details from the database table. In this session, we are going to create one new API in order to delete the details from the database table. So let's see how we can create this API. So in order to create the API, what we have to do, we have to add one new method inside our employee controller. So let me just add public and as of now, let me just keep it as a void and then let me just use the name as delete employee and then we have to add one parameter. So parameter will be like employee ID, like the employee ID which we want to delete. So let me just add integer employee ID something like this and this employee ID we are going to take it from the path so we have to add at the right path variable also but before that let me just add delete mapping then we have to use slash delete slash employee this is nothing but a URL and then we have to give a path variable so path variable we have to give inside the curly brackets and make sure like whatever you have given the variable name same path variable name we have given and let's close the curly bracket and then we have to add at the rate path variable annotation on this parameter the next thing that we have to do is we have to create a similar method inside this service so let me just go to the employee service and let me just use public void and then let me just use delete employee and then we have to add integer employee id as a parameter and then lastly what we have to do we have to just use employee dao dot delete by id and then we have to pass the employee id that we have used something like this and now let me just save these changes and if you just see the delete by id returns nothing so like it returns void so we do, we have we don't have anything to return if you just want you can just return one normal string uh, but i don't want to return anything as of now so let me just save these changes and let me just restart the application let's see whether our newly created api works or not but yeah one more thing that i just left back is to call our service method so inside the uh, delete employee we have to just use employee service dot delete employee and then we have to like pass employee id that we have received and now let me just save these changes and restart the application again and let's see whether we are able to delete the details or not and now the application is started on port 9090 so let me just go to the postman let me open new tab and let me just use http colon slash slash localhost and then colon 9090 slash delete slash employee and then we have to pass um, the employee id so let me just go to the table and let me just refresh the data so we have employee id 1 and 2 as of now so let me just pass the employee id as 2 and let me just change the mapping to the delete mapping let me click on send so if you just see we got the status as a 200 ok and if i just go to the table again and if i just run the refresh query then the second like second record the employee id having two is deleted and we are able to see only one record as of now which means our api is working as expected so this is how we can implement the delete api inside our CRUD operations series if you still have any questions let me know into a comment section and i will try my best to help you out in that case i hope you enjoyed this session i'll see you in the next session